Hi, my name is Brian Truesdale, and the title of this exhibit is Fates and Abandoned Furies. Uh, to give you a little bit of background on my journey as an artist, um, I have really been kind of fascinated with abstract art since I was a teenager, even though I had kind of started out, like many people, in high school art classes as kind of a figurative landscape painter. Um, abstract art held a certain fascination for me. It kind of, because I couldn't quite explain it, I, it was sort of worked for me in the way that a dream or nightmare did and it just held an emotional grip on me, which um, kind of re-emerged during a particular point in my life where I was seeking an outlet for some of the uh, emotional difficulties I was going through at the time. And this was about eight years ago. And just by chance, I took an open studio abstract class at the Delaplane in Frederick with Calvin Edward Ramsberg. And to put it mildly, the bug bit me. And I just sought out abstract art wherever I could um, in books and soaking it up in museums and kind of beginning that journey of developing my own language because so much of being an artist isn't just kind of seeing the world either in your mind or in the things around you, but what language you have inside to interpret that or to express that. And the development and refinement of that language is to me a lifelong journey. And the particular point of my journey which is expressed here was about last year, um, when I was living in New York State at the time, I was looking to kind of reset or seek more limitations in my art. Um, I guess for myself, I'm someone that is able to kind of more confidently pursue ideas or more um, be more expressive or articulate when there's a little more structure, I guess, or more rules. And so the easiest thing for me, or the thing that um, I kind of thought of pursuing initially just as an academic exercise was black and white. Um, because for me, stripping away color, you have fewer places to hide as a painter. You have to kind of really focus on the subtlety and the nuance of the brushwork and the composition itself. And this was something that had also been kind of recommended to me by another artist, Johan Lowy, as just a way to kind of quiet my mind, as he said, and kind of figure out a way to take the one or two ideas that maybe start a painting and go with them, as opposed to trying to come up with five, six, seven, eight ideas because the enthusiasm is so strong. And that's what I really kind of sought out with black and white. And that kind of went on through 2019. Going into 2020, colors started to seep back in naturally, but I felt it was more impactful or powerful because it was within the context or structure of this desaturated um, kind of framework with the black, the shades of black and white. And so when you see the colors kind of coming in, they really sort of pop and sort of hit you with a little more force, I think. And as for the, the title, um, a lot of my titles in general are kind of come from poetry or they come out of just a thought in my head or a phrase in my head. And um, I guess with art a lot of times, maybe especially as an abstract artist, there's a lot of emotional expression, even if it's not something you can clearly define as a mood, a sad painting, a happy painting, there might just be an energy involved. And a lot of times, the paintings I don't keep could be considered abandoned furies in the sense of, you know, kind of trying to seek out an answer in some way. And, you know, the fates could be just the destination that each painting arrives at. Um, but that's kind of where I am right now in my journey. I am very grateful for the opportunity to share it with you.